Hi everyone, my name is Akuridi Adinike. You are welcome back to my channel. If this is the first time of you checking on my channel, please like, share and subscribe. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell for you to be notified each time I upload new video. In this tutorial today, I would like to teach you how to make corset tube top, which I know you will gain one or two things when you watch till the end of this video. Let's get to it. Thanks. Now, this is the pattern paper I'm using for the tutorial today. And this is my basic bodice pattern. I don't need my ham hole because I'm making tube top. So this is my chest line. Sorry, this is my shoulder line, my chest line, my bust point line, my under bust line, my waist line, and the full length of the top I'm making today. Now, from the center here, because this is where my center front is, from my center front now, I'm going to mark out my nipple to nipple measurement which is 7 inches divided by 2, that will give me 3.5. On this line too, I'm going to mark it on this line, I'm going to mark that 3.5, and on the full length of my top, I'm going to mark 3.5 as well. Here too, I'm going to mark 3.5. So, I'll now connect the points. So, so I will now find the radius of my bust and to get that is the space in between your bust point and your under bust and the space in between my under bust and my bust point is 3.5 so from this point now from this um, bust point line I will now measure that 3.5 round that will be my the radius of my bust because I'm going to need it. I'm measuring it round. Now this is the radius of my bust, the space in between my bust point and my under bust. So that's just it for the radius. So I'm not going to leave it round like this. So on my under bust, I'm going to on both sides, I'm going to come in by one inch, one inch on both sides. So on the waistline too, I'm going to come in by one inch, one inch on both sides. So I will now connect the points like this and like this. So here too, I'm going to connect it and later blend all the sharp edges for it not to give me problem while sewing. Let's just it on how to create the darts. So let me blend it out all the sharp edges make sure you always blend all the sharp edges please to make your job neat so here now on this point i'm going to come up by three quarter of an inch but if your bust is bigger than mine if you have a bigger bust you can come in by half inch so on this line on this bust point line come up by two inches if you want the cleavage of your top to be lower than this you can make it 1.5 but i'm making two inches upward so from the center i'll just mark half inch inward so I'm going to connect it like this. Now, here now, if you want your bust, let me make it clear.
from this line now, I want my bust. I don't want it to be showing. I'm going to go up by half inch. But, but if you want, you can leave it like this. Or if you want it lower than that, you can make it half inch downward like this. But I'm making my half inch upward because I don't want my bust to be showing. So I'll now join it from here. Just join it. Don't let don't let it round too much because our bust. doesn't have round shape like that that's why I'm, I'm not using these radius so from here now I'll connect this place to this place the point I made the other time that three quarter three quarter of an inch that I, that I measured upward so I'll now connect it like this if you have your curve ruler you can make use of it but I'm using my free hand to shape it out so that's it so here now from here from here you know this is my radius round like this so from this point now, I'm going to measure half inch upward like this. But if the if the boss that you are working with is bigger, you can make it three quarter of an inch. But I'm making half inch. So from here now, I'll now connect it to this place, just like this. Make it round a little bit. If you have your curve ruler, you can make use of it. This is it. All I'm doing is that I'm creating the cup, the bust cup. So here now, this is my chest line. I'm going to come down by half inch because it's a two top. So from here now, I'll not connect it this way to meet this point it's like this just be careful while connecting please to make your job neat so I'll make sure I connect it this way that's it so I'll now draw new chest line from this point I, you know I measured half inch downward. I will now create another chest line for my tuk top. Now to complete creating my cup, I'll come up here and I measure one inch, one inch on both sides that I measured on my under bust line. I'm going to measure it here too. One inch here, then one inch here. I will now connect it like this so I will now blend my sharp edges to make my job beautiful so here too I'm going to connect I'm going to blend it out the sharp edge so here now to complete it on the down part here I'll just connect this down like this then this one to slightly downward like this I'll now take my side measurement on my chest line I'm going to input quarter of my bust there my bust is 38 divided by 4 is 9.5 plus 2 inches that I deducted from here that will give me 11.5 note I'm not adding any seam allowances on this pattern when I'm transferring it to my fabric I'll make use of that I'm going to add my seam allowances 
on my waistline i'm going to input quarter of my waist my waist is 34 divided by 4 is 8.5 plus 2 inches that i'm taking out from here that'll give me 10.5 yes it here now on the full length of my top i'm going to input quarter of my hip there my hip is 42 divided by 4 is 10.5 i'm going to add these two inches to it that'll give me 12.5 i'll now draw out my shape just draw it like this So here now to create a little curve on my on the bottom of my top. So I'm going to come up by two inches here. So I will now shape it out to make it curve a little bit. So let's trust it. So remember, I'm not adding any seam allowances on this. When I'm transferring it to my fabric, I'm going to had it so this is for the front now and let me label it for me not to forget this is the side side cup it's going to be two pieces while this is going to fall to center front center front it's going to be two pieces as well make sure you label it because when you cut it out it will not give you a problem so this is my center front. I'm going to cut it on fold and make sure you indicate it on fold. And this is my side. I'm going to cut two pieces of it. Sorry, please make sure you label it like this for it not to give you problem while cutting. So I'm going to move to the back now. So I will just easily extend these lines, my chest line, my waist line, and my hip line to continue with my back. Now these are the lines that I need for my back pattern. So this is my chest line, my new chest line, you know, this is the new chest line, this is the old chest line. So chest line, waist line, and my hip line which is the full length of my top so this is my zipper allowance i measured 1.5 if you like you can make use of one inch or two inches it depends on how you want it so on my from here now from this line now i will input half of my nipple to nipple measurement which is 3.5 on the waist too i'm going to input it and on the full length of the top i'm going to it there so I'll not connect the points to create my dart although I'm not cutting the dart out I'll just create it later transfer it to my fabric so to get my dart now from this new chest line I'm going to come down by half inch if it is my old chest line it is going to be one inch but I'm coming down by half inch from this new line on my waist i'm going to come in by half inch on both sides so i'll just connect it like this from this point I'm going to connect it slightly to my waistline I'll trust it so I'll now input all my circumference so on my chest line I'm going to input input quarter of my bust which is 9.5 plus one inch that I took from here that will give me 10.5 yes it here on my waistline quarter of my waist which is 8.5 plus one inch that I took out from here that will give me 
9.5 so on my hip line what out my hip which is 10.5 plus 1 inch that I took out from here that give me 11.5 now now connect it the back is very simple to make very simple connect it just like this the two inches I measured upward here to create a little bit curve at the bottom of the top I'm going to make it here also so that I'm going to curve it a little bit And as for this place, I want my back to be lower than this and to give it a kind of shape. So I'll come down here by one inch or 1.5. Depends on how you want it. So, so I'll now create a curve here like this to make it more beautiful. So I'm just going to cut through this line now not here so on my waist line at the zipper side here I'm going to come in from here by half inch to eliminate the zip bug so I'll now connect it slightly from here connecting it slightly like this so like this as well so is it on how to cut on how to draft out the concept top? So, I will now cut it out. Cut it out now. So So before cutting, make sure you blend this place to avoid the sharp edge and this place to make sure you blend it like this. So now continue cutting. now this is what I have this is for the back I'm not cutting out the dart for the back I'll just sew it so this is for the front see what I have for the front this is it make sure you label before cutting place for you not to make a mistake you know I said this is for center front it's going to be two pieces and this is for side it's going to be two pieces as well I'm going to cut this one on fold. This one is going to be two pieces and this one is going to be one piece. So, so I will now use this pattern now to cut out my fabric and make sure I had all the necessary allowance. Now I've used my pattern to cut, the, to cut out the fabric. I added 1.5 seam allowance at the bottom and the side too. This is the front part of it. This is the back part. I had 1.5 at the side of the front too and the bottom of the front. But these remaining allowances are half inch for same allowances. And the, on the cup too, I added half inch all through on it. 
I've cut out the lining too. And my lining is one inch shorter than the fabric. Here is it. Here is the back, back lining. And here is the front. The side for the front is also shorter by one inch than the fabric. You move your paper, make sure you notch all the necessary points. Like this one now is my waistline. This is my under bust line. And this is my bust point line. Make sure you notch on your fabric. So that when you are not when you are joining your fabric, you won't make a mistake. Notch notch all the necessary area. Necessary area. Here yeah, now. You know this is my breast point. I have to notch. I've already notched it, but if but for you to understand, make sure you notch both sides of the bust point here. And on these two, on this one too, before you remove your pin, make sure you notch. For you to understand, I've already notched it. Make sure you notch. Now let's move on to the sewing. Here is my side, two sides for the front. Here's a lining for it. And here is my center front. Here's a lining for it. I'll put it aside. So and I'm going to join. Like this. This is my center front. And these are the sides of it. I'm going to place it like this. I added interfacing to it, which is called here stay. So I'm going to join it like this. Use half inch to join it like this. So when I'm through with this, I'll now place this one too, like this. Like this. If you are a beginner, you can use pin to hold it down. I'm going to stitch it with half inch from here down to the bottom of it. When I finish that, I'll now move on to the cup. For me not to make a mistake, what I write on my pattern paper, I'm going to write it on the both side of this cup. For me, I'm going to write S to differentiate it on it, on the wrong side of it, so that for me to easily join it. And I'm going to write it on the line it too, for me not to make a mistake. This is for the center front. I'll just write CF, center front. I've indicated this is for the side and this is for the center front. I'll just pick it like this and I place it like this. Place this one too like this. Use your pen to hold it. Then we'll now go ahead and stitch this place. You stitch it with half inch. Then this place too, you have to stitch it with half inch from this side to this side. So now I've joined this. Here is the body for the front. I've joined it together. And here, here are the curves for it. So I will now go ahead and notch this place. I'll turn it to the wrong side and notch it like this for it to leave very well. So I'll notch the second one too. For it to leave very well. Now, now, flat it like this. I will open it like this and iron it. I'll let it play like this. I'm going to iron it like this. I'll let it open like this and iron it. So, when I finish ironing, I'll now go ahead and place it like this. I'll let this place match with this place. So, I'll just place it like this and stitch it from here to this hop with half inch and from here to till this place with half inch. I'm going to do the same thing on the second side of the... I'm done with the front. Here is it. I've joined the cup, the cups, the two cups. I've joined it to the body of the front. Here's the wrong side of it. As you can see, I've ironed it. So let me move on to the back. So this is the back of it. I'm going to transfer my dart by marking on the fabric like this before sewing my dart. I just transfer it like this. So I'm going to mark on the waist too. Let me just fold it like this and mark it on the waist to make my job fast and neat. Here is my waist. So I will easily remove this pattern paper now. So on the second side too, 
have to dot it the waist too. I'm going to mark it out. I'll now fold it like this. I'm going to fold it on this mark like this. So on the waist, I'll just measure half inch inward like this. Then I'll just slant it from up there to the waist and from my waist to the bottom of the top slightly like this. So I will go ahead and sew on this line like this. I'm going to do the same thing on the second part of it. Fold it. Now I'm done with the back that I've stitched it with half inch. So here's it. So I will now go ahead and take my front. I've measured the seam allowance for the side out because I'm going to join it to the back now. So but the only difference that is there is that on the armpit here, I measured two inches. You know, I added 1.5 for seam allowance, but on the armpit here, I made it two inches to make it firm at the armpit. So I will now place it like this. I'll make sure the right side face each other. I'll let it align at the side here on each other. I'm going to pin it down. The second one, I'm going to place it like this. I'll let it align at the side and pin it down. So I'll now turn it to the right side. But let me pin it first for you to understand what I'm doing. I'm going to pin it down. Just make the sides align on each other. Make it align on each other. I measured my side seam on the front. I marked it on the front side, on the front part of the top. So I'll now turn it like this and go ahead and stitch here on the line that I marked. Now I've stitched the side seam. So I'll now open it up and place my lining on it. I'm going to let the right side of the fabric face the right side of the lining. I'll place it on it like this. So I'll now go ahead and stitch it. I'm going to stitch it at the bottom here. Place it very well and stitch it at the bottom here, from here down to this place with half inch. After, so when I finish with the bottom here with half inch, you know the line is one inch shorter than the fabric. I'll now pull it up to meet up here. So I'll stitch this place too with half inch. I'm going to stitch both sides too with half inch. So when I finish it, I'll come and show you. But I'm going to leave about six inches on one side like this for me to bring it out. Now I'm done with the stitching all around. Bringing it out, I will have to notch all the necessary area. The bottom here, I have to notch it round. And this place too, this is where the cup is. I have to notch it round. So I finished notching the bottom and the cup area to, to make it lay when I turn it to the right side. I will now bring it out from where I left open here. That six inches that I left open, I'm going to bring it out from there. Like this. Now, this is the outcome of what we've been making so far. After turning to the right side, I ironed it added zipper to it and i hope you love this video guys if so give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel to support my channel till i see you in my next video stay blessed guys bye bye